Cheers, everybody. Oh, cheers, everybody. Welcome to a cider review. Now, we've got a cider which makes me cringe when I see it about. I've never ever had this. Um, and it's got a bit of a reputation. Um, and the reputation isn't a very good one. Um, it's associated with antisocial behaviour. It's associated with alcoholism. It's, it's associated with early deaths. It's associated with, you know, underage drinking. You know, the lot. So, um, I saw it. I thought, 89p, it's worth... It's worth a review anyway. Um, and it's produced by Aston Manor Cider in Birmingham. And we have a can of Frosty Jack Cider, 7.5% ABV. Yes, Frosty Jacks. Um, quite popular north of the border. Um, especially in, you know, in places <laughs> where it is. It's... it's you know, I've Googled it and up come, you know, on the images of Frosty Jacks, just people with well, basically pictures of alcoholics with their Frosty Jacks, you know. Um, I do them in, you know, the big plastic bottles. Um, and because of the uh, the pricing in, of alcohol in Scotland, I think it's about eight quid a bottle up there. So they're trying to kind of like, they're trying to kind of like you know crack you know crack down on it um the alcoholic abuse associated with it so it's seven and a half percent it says a refreshing apple cider best served frosty over ice um it sounds horrendous it sounds it, it actually it look, looks like kind of like um an antifreeze than a cider to me it looks like something you you use antifreeze for it's 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 that so let's do it let's go in let's see what it's all about like you do i'm trying to behave myself on this one because um well we'll go on we'll go on trying to behave myself gonna keep my language in check but does it smell like cider to a degree, you get an inkling of apple. To a degree, um, it's not really, it's not really coming up with much. To be honest, it's not really coming out with much. Um, I'm looking at it now. Um, it doesn't look very exciting. <laughs> Very clear, very pale. Let's get the old can in. There. Something that will rot your teeth. Something that will just completely burn your teeth away if you had you drink this every day. So cider in the glass, as you can see. Yeah, pale, quite a bit of carbonation, not much of a head on it. it it looks, you know, like a sparkling cider to a degree. Hey, let's go. Let's get the aroma. And again, you're not picking up anything, really. It's, there was a, a slight hint of apple, but really, you're not picking up anything. I'm going to go. In. I'm not looking forward to this. I'm really not. I'm going to go in. Cheers. That's a cider, is it? I don't know what... You know what? Very rare in, you know, reviewing, I get lost for words. But sometimes you come across something that's so bad that I am pretty, pretty lost for words. Um, I mean, I did the K-Cider a while back and I actually liked it. Um, I remember reviewing it and I really liked it. This, I don't know. 
I don't know from a from a side of drinking perspective, I don't know how you can like it. I really don't because you get a sweetness there. It's very, very watery. Very watery to the point where it doesn't feel like a cider. It feels like a full-on cider. It doesn't feel like a cider. It feels like a cider which has been diluted to a degree. It it just does not feel very nice. It doesn't. It's like sparkling water to a degree with me. It says 7.5%. You do not get any inkling of 7.5%. I do not know where this 7.5% is coming from in this. I really don't. Because I'm not getting any alcohol at all in the taste. It feels like a sparkling water with a slight hint of apple in it. That's the best assumption. It, it's 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 pretty bad. It, it, you know, I like an, a nice cider. I like a cider which tastes of apples, which has got a nice, round, refreshing feel to it. This is it's terrible. It it it's, it is. It's just really, really bad. I'm going again. The only thing I can think about why people buy this is to snake buy it with a lager. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it down to there. The more I drink it, the more horrendous it gets. It gets right at the back of the throat. It's horrible. Sorry, facts. I'm going to put a bit of lager in. Only a little bit. I don't think the lager like it. I don't think I'm going to drink this. It's, it's that bad. It's... Put a bit of lager in. It's, it's, it's disgusting. I'm sorry, boys and girls. I've done well, I think, in this because I haven't, I haven't kicked off. Um, because there's some things which are so bad and so removed from what they perceive that what they are is that it's an insult. <clears throat> it's going down a, it's going down the sink. It's absolutely shit. Sorry, I did swear then. Frosty Jack cider. What's my honest opinion of it? My honest opinion of it is if you like this. You got a problem. Seriously, you've got an alcohol problem if you like that, because it's to me it's not a cider. It's it's it. It is just rubbish. It is absolutely rubbish. It's something what you might drink when you're a teenager, you know, when you're hanging out and you want to get drunk. Um, but if you seriously have if you seriously drink this often, every day, mixing it or whatever, I would certainly go and get yourself sorted out because that is absolutely awful. Thank you very much for watching this one. Please subscribe. Murder me in the comments. Don't touch it. It's one of the worst. It's the worst side on this channel, if you can call it that. Cheers.